Hey guys, it's Calvin, and Google Cardboard is a really piece of interesting technology that allows us to experience virtual reality using our smartphones at a very budget price. When we enable Google Cardboard content, our smartphone screens are split into two specially formatted views, one for the left eye and one for the right eye. And the lenses inside Google Cardboard are able to take these two specially formatted views and merge them into a single 3D image that we experience. Now that's really cool, but how is Google Cardboard and the two lenses inside the headset able to accomplish this? When we place our smartphones into the Google Cardboard headset, our screens are technically less than two inches away from our eyes. And if we didn't have these special lenses inside the headset, we would see the images on our screen as being very blurry. Now let's try something. Take a piece of text or your smartphone screen and place it about an inch and a half away from your eyes. Now you'll notice that things are very blurry and very hard to read. In fact, you might even feel your eyes starting to strain. So I recommend that you do not do this for a long period of time. In fact, just stop now. Google Cardboard uses a special pair of lenses called biconvex lenses. And these are simply lenses that are convex on either side. These lenses can refract incoming light from objects to a single point, often called the focal point, a point where light rays can converge into a single point. There's also another type of lens called the biconcave lens, which does the opposite of a biconvex lens. It refracts the incoming light outward away from the optical axis. Now the distance it takes for light rays to converge to a single point is called the focal distance. And this distance is very important in understanding how our eyes can attempt to make blurry objects less blurry. Now this distance, the focal distance, is really important in trying to understand how our eyes can make something that is blurry into a more sharper and clear image. Our eyes are some pretty amazing organs. In a simple way, they consist of a cornea, a lens, some ciliary muscles, and a retina. Light entering our eyes from an object pass through the cornea where most of the refraction occurs. The ciliary muscles then contract and expand as needed to change the curvature of our lenses, which then change the focal length of our lenses. The lenses in our eyes are constantly changing curvatures to try to place the focal point right on the back of our retinas. If an object is too close to our eyes, our lenses can only change so much before the focal point goes beyond the retina. This is what makes objects blurry when they're too close to our eyes. If we introduce a biconvex lens between our eye and the object, the light rays coming from the object can be adjusted enough so that the lenses in our eyes don't have to deform as much in order to put the object into sharper focus on the back of our retina. In real life, our eyes always see the world around us in two slightly different perspectives. Each eye sees a slightly different image than the other. So in order to mimic what our eyes see in real life, the cameras inside 3D virtual worlds have to be spaced apart a certain distance so that they mimic the behavior of our eyes. Most importantly, they need to be able to view objects in the virtual world from two slightly different angles and be able to display those views on our screens. When we look into Google Cardboard, we are seeing exactly what we would be if we were actually present in the virtual world. We would be seeing objects in that virtual world from two slightly different perspectives that would enable us to perceive depth just like we perceive depth in our real world. This technique to view flat images with depth perception is called stereoscopy. Our brains are able to merge the two different images that were shot from two slightly different perspectives into one single image because that's what they constantly do in real life. So now we know why the lenses inside Google Cardboard and many other VR headsets are so important. They are able to refract the light coming from those displays just enough so that the lenses in our eyes can put the image into focus within a tolerable focal distance. When you think about it, it's pretty amazing to see how a couple of plastic lenses can make us feel like we are in a totally different world. It's pretty amazing what our smartphones can do when combined with the Google Cardboard headset. The virtual world becomes much more immersive when we are able to perceive depth correctly but also when we're able to move our heads and still feel like we're in the virtual world. So how does Google Cardboard and our smartphones keep track of our head movements as we experience virtual reality? 
Well, for that, I will have to see you guys in the next part.